What's up, college football fans, sports fans, and fans of my channel? Guys, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff. Baby, it really helps me out, helps me channel out, guys, helps me to grow. And to the Boss Nation, thank y'all so much, man. So much coming back, watching all my videos from the beginning to the end. I love you guys, I love you. Y'all I got. Y'all I got, baby, y'all I got. And fam, welcome, guys. Welcome to today's video, baby. It's finally here. It's not the third Saturday in October, but it's close enough, guys. It's Bama, it's Tennessee, baby. It's Tennessee Hate Week. I'm sorry, fam. I probably was a little loud on that fifth month, but hey, it's Tennessee Hate Week, baby. And I hate Tennessee with a freaking passion, guys. I, 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 you know this. Everybody knows this. But fam, I got some stats written down or whatnot. And uh, yeah, man, we, we finna get into it, bro. We just gonna get into it, man. So everybody just sit back, man, relax and whatnot. And uh, let, let's dive in. All right, guys. So, Bama, we are failed by seven and a half points as of right now, fam. Some might say seven. Over on the 65 and a half. Some might say 66. CBS is the channel that we're going to be playing on. 2.30 p.m. game. And it's at Leland Stadium, fam. It's at Tennessee, guys. It's in Tennessee. So, fam, we are two of the top five offenses in the country. And these are my stats and whatnot, fam, that I've written down, handwritten, old-fashioned way. Fam, um, we are uh, we are averaging 44.3 points per game. Tennessee is averaging 46.8 points per game. Pretty nigga neck, guys. Um, Hendon Hooker, man, 213 straight passes without an interception, fam. So it seems like this dude been to Tennessee like 15, 16 freaking years. He's 24 years old. Like this guy, man, he's been getting better and better, guys, every year. So fam, yeah, hitting hitting hook, hitting hooker, bro. He is the real deal. He is the real deal. I'm just going to say that, man. I hate to say it, but he is. And uh, Tennessee is allowing 2.79 yards um, over us, 7 in FBS, fam. So they're not allowing very much, guys. They're not allowing very much. And our, our defense, 12.5 points per game. That's how much we're giving up. And Tennessee's offense, of course, they're averaging 46.8 points a game. Our pass yards per game is 166.3. That's how many yards we're giving up so far. Tennessee is averaging 340.4 uh, pass yards per game. Rush yards per game, 84.5. That's how I many we're giving up on the, on the ground. Tennessee is running. It's rushing, 207.4. And the turnovers, 5-5. Five and five. So we neck and neck in the turnovers. Uh, and our offense, fam, we're averaging 44.3 points per game. Tennessee's defense is giving us 17.8. Not much at all. They also have the seven best um, run defense, man. In the country, guys. And I know a lot of people didn't know that. Hell, I didn't even know that. And um, our offense found points per game. We were averaging um, 246.5 points per game so far. Tennessee defense is uh, giving up 307.4 and whatnot. Rushing, rushing yards per game, 257.2. And, and um, Tennessee defense, 89.2. Turnovers, 10 to 10. So, fam, we are neck and neck again in turnovers and whatnot, guys. And um, but yeah, man, Tennessee, bro, they rushing rushing yards per game. It's not bad at all. Only eighty nine point two. I think I was like eighty four point five. Dang, bro. So yeah, man, Tennessee, man. Um, Tennessee look really good. I'll go. They look really good this year. And I uh, also found Tennessee is the what did I write? Excuse my right, um, guys. Yeah, Tennessee is the number one total offense in the SEC, and we are the number one total defense in the SEC. Guys, I did not know that either until so I looked this up. And uh, Tennessee did, but yes, they did have a couple of weeks of bad turnovers so far this season, Florida and Pittsburgh. And guys, here's my screenshots, bro. I want to do a little uh, screenshot, let y'all know how they were scoring against um against Florida and against LSU. But first, I want to just go by all their wins. All their wins, Ball State won 59 to 10. Pittsburgh, they won that game 34 to 27. Akron beat the hell out of Akron, 63-6, which they should have. Florida, on the other hand, won 38-33, but they kind of struggled a little bit, guys. Kind of struggled a little bit. First quarter, as you can see, 0, Tennessee 3, 14-14 in second quarter. They neck and neck. Florida got 7, Tennessee 14 on the third. Florida 12, Tennessee 7 in the fourth. Ended up being 33-38. So it's a close game, guys. Close game, which you expected it to be, especially, you know what I'm saying, about it being in Florida's house. But Tennessee still got the win, bro. Still got the win. And then, I mean, by it being the Tennessee's house, my bad. And when they play LSU, though, 
Bam, it's neck and neck difference. LSU, first quarter, Tennessee 13, LSU 0. Second quarter, Tennessee 10, LSU 7. So we're getting a little competitive. Third quarter, Tennessee 14, LSU goose egg. Fourth quarter, Tennessee 3, LSU 6. We end up being 40 to 13. So, fam, you can see, bro, like from Florida to LSU, and, and to me, Florida pays LSU this week. Florida to LSU is not that big of a difference, guys. Like, they both, you know what I'm saying, are pretty solid teams, guys. So, for them to do that to Florida, you know, barely got that win, but then come to LSU and they house and whip the crap out of them and Tiger Stadium, bro. I heard they were singing Rock and Talk, guys, all over the freaking stadium. Just took over the stadium, fam. So I'm like, bro, this this is um this is not this is not usual. This is not natural. This is not normal. You feel me? This ain't normal, guys, for Tennessee to be doing this good. And uh, also, this is probably yes, this is probably the best Tennessee team, guys, since 2001, fam. And uh, Jabari Small. That's all I had to say. Jabari Small. That freaking running back. It's a freaking beast. All right, guys, fam. That's the end, that's the end of the stats. Let's just talk about this a little bit, bro, because um. Guys, we going into some hostile territory. Yes, I know we have played Texas. Fam, that game was wild. We barely won that game by one point and whatnot, fam. In which Brandon, I mean, not Brandon, Bryce Young, guys, had to play his behind off just for us to win that game. Not just him, though. Of course, Jamar Gibbs. You know, then we had Trayshawn Holden, Brooks. You know, everybody contributed. Will Allison, whatnot, Dallas Turner. We all contributed, bro. But Bryce Young. You know, our leader, the Messiah. You know what I'm saying, bro? He had to do his thing, guys, in order for us to win that game. If we hadn't had Bryce, we would not have won that game. We would not be, you know, where we at now if we went for Bryce. Now, fam, look, I know Jay Lemire got in the game last week. Uh, actually started last week against um against Texas A&M. Arkansas, he came in about almost midway. He won that game. He made some mistakes, but not many. But last week, fam, Jay Lemire made a lot of mistakes. Also, though, he made some a lot of good plays, too. Like I said, the guy's the boy's young, man. He needs experience. You know, he needs time to grow. So, fam, look, it's like this right here. People are saying with Big Ben, how you know um, Bryce Young's going to start? How you know he's going to start this week, Brand, uh, man, going against Tennessee? Trust me, bro. My, all my resources and what I've heard so far, bro, from some reliable people, Bryce Young is going to be starting this game. That's why we failed by seven and a half points, fam. If Jalen Miller was starting, because Vegas, I think they know too, it wouldn't be this high. Thing is, fam, I'm concerned. I'm so concerned about this freaking Tennessee team because, guys, Tennessee has not been this good in a long time. I mean, a long, long time. A lot of us, fam, especially the younger generation, we have never experienced a loss to Tennessee. We never experienced a loss to Tennessee, fam. So, guys, and, I, and I, I'm 36, fam, so I know how I used to be back in the day, okay? That's why I hate them so bad. That's why I enjoy every freaking time we beat Tennessee because, bro, you never know when it can when it can come to an end. Now, fam, this coach, Josh Heupel, kind of reminds me of um Phil Foma, man. You know, they both big, got the little belly and whatnot, chip, chubby face, you know, cheerful. They, they both got that thing going. I don't know what it is, bro. The big guys, you know what I'm saying? We just big. But anyway, fam, this dude is doing a hell of a job with Tennessee, man. He got Tennessee cooking, man. I'm talking about, bro, they cooking, and they cooking good, fam. They cooking everything you can think of. Whatever you want, they got it, seems like, fam. So, huh, when we go down here to Tennessee, bro, man, we got to be cooking too, fam. Matter of fact, we got to bring our food with us. You know what I'm saying? We don't want that. We don't want what they got. We got to bring our own, fam. And this is gonna, not going to be a tough – I mean, this is not going to be an easy game for us, man. It's not, guys. This is not going to be an easy game. We know how we are on the road, especially against a good quality team. In which Tennessee fam, they are scoring a lot of freaking points. They are scoring a lot of points. The defense is looking good as well. They're not giving that many. Yes, Florida was kind of shaky. Pittsburgh as well. But as you see, bro, every game they have gotten better and better and better, fam. Better and better, guys. And Bryce Young, you know, I don't know how good his shoulder is. You feel me? I don't know how good his shoulder is. You know, he could have played last week. He wanted to go, he wanted to come in the fourth quarter and play against Texas AM. But we just didn't let him. But, guys, I'm just wondering, bro, how good is, this, is Bryce Young's shoulder? And um, not only that, bro, but by us going down here to Tennessee, man, you know, what what, is, what have they been working on with us? I mean, for us. Because, trust me, fam, we're going to see some stuff that's not on film, okay? And I know we've been watching film a lot. We're going to see some things from Tennessee that we have not seen on film. 
So this is gonna be this is gonna be a really unauthorized kind of kind of game because I don't know what the turnover is gonna be. I don't know what an interception is gonna be. I don't know. We we really don't know. We don't know how the penalties gonna go. We're going out in their house. So nine times out of ten, they're gonna be calling stuff on us, fam. You know, I know people like to say, "Well, y'all out of Bama. Y'all get all the calls." No, we don't, bro. We really don't, man. We get a lot of calls against us. So balls going out in the freaking Tennessee. I already know, fam. This is gonna be. This is going to be rough, man. This is going to be rough on all freaking stages, guys. Will Allison, that is turning. They're going to play their ass off, fam. And Bryce Young, he just going to forget about He has never had a shoulder problem in his life. Because when we go down here to Tennessee, we got to have everything, bro. All the I's dotted, all the T's crossed. We got to have everything in line. We cannot have a game like we had last week, in which I don't think we will ever have a game like we had last week, you know. But, uh, yeah, fam. Turnovers are going to kill us, man. If we have any kind of turnovers, maybe one. But, fam, we have two, three. You know, when you start getting up in that range, man, two and a half, three, fam, I, I don't know if we can win this game, guys. Because Tennessee this year, bro, this year, they are just that good, man. And I hate saying it because I hate these motherfuckers with a passion, fam. I don't like Tennessee. We don't supposed to like that. I don't like them, man. And, and, and don't go in there. I really don't like them because of how good they are this year. Cause they got a chance of beating us, fam. And not only that, we going to their house. You know, we going to their house, man. And I just don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect down there, man. I mean, I do know what to expect. I know it's going to be rough. I know they're going to be talking a lot of noise down there. I know they're going to be on our asses, fam. I know this. They're going to be on our backs. They're going to be in our heads. The fans, they're going to they be rocket talk this, rocket talk that. Yeah, we're going to get you. Soon we make a mistake. If we make a mistake, which I think we might make some, well, hopefully not some, but, we, you know, it's a type of game, bro. We're going to make a mistake or two. They're going to be all on it, bro. You know, they're going to be all over it, man. And, um... Huh, this is this is not gonna be easy for us, guys. Tennessee is just that freaking good this year. They really can beat us, man. And I hate saying this, but they really they they can. If we don't if we don't have our A game, fam, we will not walk out of Legion State with a victory, fam. We will not. We will not, man. So guys, this game is gonna come down, of course. It's always the trenches. I'm not even gonna talk about the trenches. We both have that. We both have the offenses, both have the defenses. Hell, we even got special teams. Tennessee has everything this year, fam, just about that we have. They got the freaking quarterback who been there a hundred freaking years. You know, they got the freaking defensive line. What it, what it, what it was. We 84.5 rushing yards for a game. They 89, you know, averaging 340 yards for a freaking, freaking um, game. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm talking real fast. But, fam, this is how serious this game is this year. We can, you know, this this is not like, oh, yeah, man, we know we're going to favor about 20-some points. No. I don't even know why we feel about seven and a half points, fam. This is not going to be easy. This is not going to be easy, fam. Not by a long shot, man. This ain't going to be easy, bro. I can't stress that enough. Like, I really can't. I can't stress it enough, guys. And not going to lie, I'm a little worried. A little worried because I don't know how good Bryce Young is right now with his shoulder, man. I'm just hoping that he's 100%, but I know he's not 100%. He can't be 100%. He just hurt his shoulder two weeks ago. So he can't be 100%. If he's at least 85, 90%, matter of fact, fam, we ain't got no choice. We got to take wherever he got. Wherever percentage it is, we got to take it. Because we can't put Jaden Miro out there. He is definitely, he barely, he barely won't get Texas A&M. We will not win against Tennessee if Jaden Miro was out there. No, dis no disrespect to Jaden Miro, okay? I really like him. He's going to be our leader soon. But as of right now, Bryce Young, this is his team. This is our leader. This is our, this is our, this is our boy. This is our Messiah. So, fam, look. We got we got to do this thing, man. Okay, we cannot lose to Tennessee. We haven't lost to Tennessee since 2006, bro. I was a sophomore in freaking college. Okay, I am a grown ass man now. Out of college, been out of college. I'm working, doing everything I'm supposed to do, fam. Okay, please, guys, we cannot lose to Tennessee by any means necessary. Whatever it takes, besides hurting somebody or you know doing something outrageous. We got to beat Tennessee. We got to beat them, man. We cannot let these boys get on us, man. But anyway, guys, look. I love you, man. I love you, fam. This is who I do this. Y'all who I do this for, guys. And, uh, yeah, man, this game is serious, man. I'm so serious, bro. We have got to do this, man. We going to do it. I really believe we going to do it. It ain't going to be easy. Definitely going to be easy. But it's going to make us strong. What don't kill you make you strong. 
Anyway, love you, fam. This is y'all who I do this for. And like I said on my videos, I love college football. You love college football. We love college football. And again, that being said, much love. Much love, guys. Stay tuned. Stay blessed. I promise you. I'll be back with more videos. All right, peace.